what is up youtube this is jason again and this is live editing session number two with sony vegas and i'm gonna try to do it a little bit better this time the last session was rough i actually got a few things wrote down here that i can actually go over with you um there's so much that i want to cover and show you guys but it, it could take hours fucking a whole day to probably cover everything but i'm gonna try to cram it together and explain it as best as I can for you um I know a lot of people have problems with RAM preview in Vegas you know they really don't edit because they see so much lag in their preview I'm gonna show you one thing that will help that out a lot and um if you let me go ahead and say this if you have Windows 7 and you want to increase your RAM um you can just google how to do this but you can get you know just like an 8 gigabyte USB stick and you can plug it into your USB slot and actually use the 8 gigs as RAM which will help a ton all you gotta do is google and search that it's very easy to do but you do have to have Windows 7 or Vista maybe I know one of them you have to have it doesn't work with XP or anything but I'm let me off topic let me go ahead and show you one way you can increase the preview in Vegas um, you wanna go to options and preferences at the bottom there um, you want to click the video tab and at the top you'll see dynamic RAM preview you can see here mine's on 350 which is actually very low but I'm not going to change it because I'm not doing much right now but um, you can run the max that you have max available here and it will increase it a lot and this is what I usually do a lot in Vegas when I edit let me open up an old project I mm, opened that one last time. Let's go to maybe. Yeah, I can't show you that one. That's my episode 6, and that shit's gonna be epic. Still working on that. Uh, let's see what this is. <sighs> I know I got an old project somewhere around here. Let me go to my Vegas Projects folder and see. Where are we at? There's so much shit up in here. Um, I want one that's not gonna lag much at all. Something small. And I should actually have this already planned, but it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna just go to episode 5 and open that again. It shouldn't take too long to open. Ignore all the files. I've actually moved them all. This is actually a big project. I spent a while on this. This montage is one of my Oh, wow this is actually the old one I actually changed all of this up this is nothing like what it actually came out to be in the final project but getting off topic um say for instance you notice I have effects 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 right here you know I want to preview this section of the clip only without any lag at all so what you want to do is just drag and highlight it like I have it right there and hit shift B on your keyboard and it will actually pre-render that, well not really pre-render, it RAM previews that section of the clip where you can actually view it and see what you've done to it. And as soon as it's finished, I'm going to play it back now with no lag. And you see, that if there wasn't Shift-B in Vegas, I would not be editing videos. Alright, let's see what else I want to go over. Tabs views. Now you notice you only have three tabs here. Now you can go up top here in a view and you can view way more options. Like for instance video effects. You can open up video effects and you have tons of effects there that you can just click and drag. It's like, I actually like to do them like this. You can actually go over here and click and hit track effects and it will add it. Like for instance right here. You could go to track effects, click it and it actually went to some old shit well, which I had on there but on a track that doesn't have any effects you can it'll load up all of them and you can click it or you could just you know click an effect here and drag it to here right here at the start where I don't know what you would call that but you just drag it onto that and it will automatically add that effect to every clip in that line uh, I think that should be very useful for you guys um, 
Yeah. And for instance, these windows here, they're movable, you know. Like if you don't want if you want your preview over here, you could put it over here. Just click these little six or seven dots there are and you can actually pull it out and put it wherever you want it or actually snap into place. But I like mine over here, so I'm gonna put it back. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to cover before the basics. Um there isn't much more um pre rendering in Vegas I wanted to show you that. Like the same way you preview the section you could highlight it like that and come up here to render as and then you know you can name it whatever you want to name it uh... i'm not going to go over render settings i just made a complete tutorial on how to render perfectly with vegas if you haven't seen it click on the screen now because the link will be there and that's it <sighs> for that and you want to make sure you select render loot region only that way it only renders the loot region and then you can render that out and then you could actually add another video track up top and you could drag the clip in that you just rendered on top of that put it exactly on top of what you just selected you know and then you could actually you know remove these right here what you pre-rendered and a lot of times if you have a lot of effects on a part of a clip in Vegas you can pre-render that section replace it out and you know save it and you know once you load it up again you reduce a lot of lag because there's no effects on it now you know it's just it's a lot easier I do that all the time just to you know save a project because Vegas will crash sometimes out of nowhere so I mean you need to get used to saving your project constantly you know just go to file save or hit control s on your keyboard and I think that's all the basics that I want to conclude in session two. Um, I'm going to let you know on the next sessions. Um, I actually got a few comments. The next session I'm going to do text in Vegas. Show you how to make some text flow with some music and whatnot. And also in the next session I'm going to show you how to do you know, Black Ops cinematic angles. How to record them with Black Ops. And then put them into Vegas. You know, add the effects. The... You know, sometimes in a couple of my latest montages, you saw where I had the cinematic and it had this, like, weird tilt to it. You know, you can't do that in Black Ops Theater mode. You know, you can't put that crazy tilt on the camera or whatever. But you can actually use the effect in Vegas to do that, and I will show you that next time. I thank you for viewing the... Wow, that sounded so retarded. I thank you for viewing the video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more, please leave a comment and like the video. It helps me out a lot. Um, sorry for the cold. Sorry for sniffling. Whatever. I'm just ranting on. And that's it. Trauma's out, bitches. Be sure to follow me on Facebook where I keep you updated with the latest gaming content and where I share all of my latest videos. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can find lots of editing tutorials and gaming videos. Right before you now is my latest uploads. You can check out Black Ops Episode 5 and some of my commentaries and reviews. And also enter some of the latest editing contests. I thank you for viewing and later guys.